Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stamping with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a quick and easy project. It is a little treat box here. I love, love, love this stamp set. <laughs> I've used it a couple times already, but yeah, this is the little one. It's quick and easy. Um, I've made them before in different sizes. I think I've done a couple before, but it's like this. And I fit, I've just put a bunch of the um, Dollar Tree candy, but you can put anything in here that you like. But look how beautiful that is in that flower, or that flower. <laughs> that butterfly is on a dimensional and it stands out really pretty. Um, yeah, this is what I'm sharing today. I really love this project. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so to start with, you'll need a piece of, this is Berry Burst I'm using for this. And this piece is 11 by 7. And then you need two matte pieces, which I'm matting the back, back on this, and you'll see why in a minute. And there, these are 2 and 7 eighths by 4 and a quarter. By the way, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and share, because all those things really help me going on my channel. And yeah, I really appreciate it. And there is an inspiration sheet on my blog at stampingwithamori.com where it has all the measurements for all the projects I do. I put an inspiration sheet. And so you can download it and print it. So the stamp set that I'm... Oh, you need also a piece of basic white. So I'm using the Spotlight on Nature and I'm also using the dies. So I'm going to pull out the dies, but look at these dies, y'all. Oh my goodness, these are so worth it. I'm using this one right here for this one. You can use this one as well. They're both the same size. They're, they're different, though. So, But look at how beautiful these are. I absolutely love these. And so that's what we're using for it. We're using the butterfly and the thanks. You can use the dear friend if you want or any other sentiment but this will be a thank you. And so we're going to go ahead first and stamp and color our butterfly. And I'm going to grab my mat. Y'all, I found another mat. Um, I guess I had two of them, and I was cleaning out my craft room. <laughs> and by the way, be looking because pretty soon I'm going to be posting some mystery boxes all stamping up stuff. So be watching for that because I'll probably do a separate video on it. All right, so we are going to stamp the butterfly. And I'm using Memento because I am using my Ohuhu markers today. I'm in love with these markers, y'all. If you haven't been if you haven't <laughs> noticed here lately, I've loved them and I've been using them a lot. And then I'm going to just leave space so that we can cut this out. You do have to fussy cut the butterfly, though, because there's not a die for that. There's only these circle dies. So let's go ahead and remove the mat, and we're going to color. And for those of you who have gotten these markers, because I know some of you have gotten them, I'm using R160, YR170, R120, YR250. And that is it on these. So I'm going to start out with this YR250. I'll zoom in for y'all so you can see it a little bit better. So I am going to just, oops, I need the other side for this, the brush side. This is one of the mid-tone markers, y'all. Um, I just bought a mid-tone which coordinates with the other um, bun, the other box that I got of these. And these are like in-between shades, which really, really help. Because then you have more options of coloring with more than like two colors. So we're using that, and then I'm going to grab this darker color, which is YR170. And we are going to, and I noticed, I'm just going to highlight some of this, shade it a little bit. I noticed that there is... Um, mid-tones with a chisel end which I didn't notice before and then we're going to go in with this lighter um, this is one of our regular ones where the, the gray mark is is the point on that one it's the opposite 
So we're going to just go and do this lighter one. And this is really easy coloring, y'all. I just love these markers. They're beautiful shades, and the tips are so good. Uh, who, who sponsor me with it <laughs> because I love these things. And then we are going to just shade these. I'm always talking about these markers. I know you're probably tired of hearing about them. But y'all, I just really, I really have been really enjoying them. I'm going to grab the light again and just blend this a little bit. Isn't this butter just, butterfly just beautiful butter? Yeah, <laughs> isn't it beautiful? So that is it, y'all. Super easy. I'm going to zoom you back out. And here's our butterfly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fussy cut this. And then we will ready to be put it all on our little box. Okay, y'all, I have it all cut out and ready to go. And you can use your brother scan and cut as well on these butterflies. It'd be really easy if you're going to do a bunch of them. All right, let's go ahead and score. We are going to score this piece here. And we're going to score on the 11 inch side. And we're going to do it at four, four and a half. Six and a half and seven. And look at that, I even went off there. Then you're going to turn it and it's going to be at two and five. All right, so that is it. Okay, so we are going to cut this. And the first thing you're going to do is cut off this big piece here. Just save these pieces. You're going to go down to the second score mark on that, by the way. So it makes this little one is going to be a glue tab. So it makes that a glue tab there. But you can use this for a lot of other things, these pieces. I do keep them when they're this big. Again, do the same thing on this side. And then we're going to do the same on this side. And this side as well. So I am just going to cut out from the inside here. I'm going to leave the outside so it's nice and square there. All right. So I'm going to take my bone folder, and you're going to see a mark right here. If you don't want that mark, you can score it just up to that score mark there, and then you won't have this, but we're matting it, so that's not going to be a problem. Okay, so all the score marks are scored. You don't want to score this inside one. You just want to leave that one. So I'm going to grab my Seal Plus, and we are going to just put it on all these glue tabs here. And then you're just pulling these up. Just like that. And then we are going to use our wet glue and we are going to mat these. Let's 
that's one side there. This box would not look right anyway without both sides matted, in my opinion. <laughs> so I would recommend matting both sides. It just looks too plain to me. Okay. So that's all matted. We're going to grab our hole punch and I'm using my eighth inch. I have one linked in the description if you don't have one. Um, we don't carry it anymore. It's damping up. I'm going to use a pen here. Make sure these are even. Just going to mark the hole. Make sure I got it. And we are using this red and I think it's petal pink. Yeah, it's petal pink and white. Did I say red? <laughs> I don't know where I got red from. Anyway, we're, we're using the white. And we're just tying a knot in it. We're not going to tie a bow. You can tie a bow if you like, but we're making this simple, y'all. So I'm just tying a knot there. Let's use the ribbon scissors here. Cut a little tail and then I'm going to take this piece right here this die and I'm going to run that through the cut and emboss and I'll be back with that piece now we have that piece all ready to go I'm going to grab my mat again and we're going to stamp on this mat we are going to stamp using the Versafine for the sentiment so I'm going to stamp the sentiment first and by the way, you don't even need this mat for these rubber stamps. So let's just do it without. So I'm going to do the thanks down here. This is a really pretty thanks as well, y'all. Then we're going to use some lemon lime twist. Because it has the lemon lime twist in this paper. And we're just going to add some little... splatters kind of underneath the butterfly I think that's going to be enough let me grab the butterfly and see if we need a couple more yeah let's just do a couple more up here I just think it adds a lot to this butterfly it's really pretty and then we are going to take some dimensionals and we are going to put two on the back here. And you're going to just place the butterfly on here. And I'm going to use my Stamp and Seal Plus and just put it on the bottom of this because this is curved here. And then you're just going to set it on here, and we're going to do a final little touch. You can leave it just like this if you like, but I'm really loving this metallic enamel effects. It comes with three colors in it, the copper, the gold, and the silver. I'm loving this gold, and we're going to just add some little dots. Be real careful on this part because you can squeeze these, and they come out really big. And... You don't want to do that. You just want a, some little ones on here. So we're going to do a few here. Just squeeze very lightly. Just like that. And that is it. That's all we're putting on there. Can you see? Isn't that pretty? I'm loving these <laughs> and I've we've had the red and I think red we had red and white at Christmas time but yeah that's it everyone I hope you enjoyed it 
Here's the other one full of chocolates, but aren't they pretty? Isn't that butterfly just beautiful? I really wanted to use it on this project. So if you need any supplies, I have a host code for June. If you place an order, I would appreciate you using the host code. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching and taking a part of your day with me. So I hope you have a blessed one. And I'll catch you in the next video, everyone. See you later. Bye.